flamingo craft today. So the first thing you'll need is some nice pink paper for your flamingo. Also some white cardstock paper, not much, just a little bit to cut out his beak and we can color it either orange or yellow with a marker. And you'll also want a marker for maybe his eyes or maybe you want to draw a smile on. So get some markers too. And then a pencil to trace our hands. Scissors, and glue. So once you have everything, we will start with step one. It's gonna be so much fun. So for our step one, we're gonna be tracing. So you're gonna need your pink piece of paper and you'll need your pencil and your hand. So have mom or dad help you with this part. We're gonna take a piece of paper and we're gonna fold it in half, just like this. And we're gonna put our hand right along the crease here with our thumb right alongside that crease. And we're gonna trace our hand and then we will cut it out. Make sure not to cut out this part. Keep the crease intact so that it opens up like this. So I have just traced my hand and I'm now gonna take my scissors and cut out my traced hand. Your handprint flamingo should look something like this. So now that we have our flamingo body, we need the flamingo neck and head. So you can kind of use your own creativity with this. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just to the best of your ability, we'll cut out a neck shape with a head at the top. So I'll show you what I have drawn that I'm gonna now um, cut out. Just something that looks similar to this. And we'll cut it out and we'll put it on our flamingo hand. So I have finished cutting out my flamingo neck and head. In a minute, I'm going to glue this onto the rest of the body that I've already made like this. But before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and finish his face by adding a beak. So you can cut out a piece of your pink paper and maybe you have an orange mark or a yellow mark or something and you can color it in. Or if you have white, that would be best. If you have like a piece of white cardstock paper and cut a small beak out, maybe you wanna color it in with a marker, a crayon, um, it's optional. So go ahead and cut just a small shape of a beak out and we'll go ahead and glue that onto the rest of the face. Now that I've glued on the beak, I'm gonna go ahead and take a black marker and add a little eye. And now my face is complete. I'm going to take my neck. I'm gonna tape it on or glue it on to just the underside of my handprint right underneath where my thumb went looking so good. I just have one more step left. I want to add some lakes. So we're going to take that pink paper again and we're going to cut out two lakes. So one is going to look like a long kind of thin rectangular piece. The other one I'm going to have as a folded leg. I'll show you what that will look like. It's going to be like a 90 degree angle. Here are my two legs. One is just a long straight kind of like skinny rectangular shape. The other one is more of a 90 degree angle. Now you can go ahead and glue this on however you want. Maybe you want it to look like this. Oops, turn it over. Or maybe you want it to look more like this. My fan is going in my room, so it's blowing <laughs> these tiny little pieces. So however you want to glue the legs, whatever style you want to give it, you can go ahead and have the freedom to do that and make it look how you want it to look. So now we have our beautiful flamingo all ready to go and her wings even open up so she can fly. So pretty. Great job, friends. One extra cool thing you can do is if this is a gift for somebody else, you can open this up and make it like a card and write a special note for the person you're giving it to and they will love this gift. I hope you enjoyed this flamingo craft with me today. I had so much fun making it. I hope you did too. I will see you next time for another craft. Bye everybody.